What up, what up everyone? It's your boy Dio and this is Frankla Investment. So if you are new on this channel, welcome. You know, this is a channel where we talk about bio-nanogenomics 99.9% .9 of the time, okay? So there is an event coming up on March 24th at 7 a.m. PST or 2 p.m. GMT. This more or less, you know, this is not a bio-nanogenomics event, but this is an event of an expert, a doctor, Dr. Francis, they call her Francis High. She is going to present our finding our findings with uh bio nanogenomics sapphire system okay as you guys know she is going to talk about how the sapphire system is able to detect some kind of structural variation that is causing the birth the uh, defect this is more or less a uh, an illness a birth defect illness okay so let's take a look at the title and i want to explain to you guys why important why this event is very important for we bio nanogenomics investors okay and of course for bio nanogenomics and for this doctor herself this this is why i fall in love with, the, with this company guys i mean this is why i am crazy about bngo now the title reads advanced structural analysis of risk loci for con congenital diaphragmatic hernia using optical genome mapping technology oh i'm going to lose my teeth one day <laughs> you know so it goes if you want to register of course you have to put in your details here so that you can join the event okay but let me quickly read why this event is very important and why this is a breaking news you know you know if you take a look at the meaning of this congenital diaphragmatic hernia it's one of the most common structural birth defects in the world okay occurring in up to one of every 2500 life births although surgical and medical treatments has advanced significantly survival rates remain at 50 to 80 percent with significant morbidity to date little is known of the basic molecular mechanism that underlie cdh very little is still known about this kind of illness you know they don't know why it is happening so this is this doctor you know francis high md phd assistant in pediatric mass general this is massachusetts general hospital for children okay so i want to show you guys what exactly is this uh, is this birth defect okay this cdh congenital uh, diaphragmatic hernia now the best website i found that explains this illness or this birth defect perfectly is from this uh children's hospital of philadelphia website okay take a look at this congenital diaphragmatic hernia cdh now you can easily see what is um, CDH. Um, congenital di um, diaphragmatic hernia occurs when the diaphragm, the muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen, fails to close during prenatal development. This op opening allows content of the abdomen, stomach, intestines, and or liver to migrate into the chest. Of course, that is very dangerous. Okay, impacting the growth and development of the lungs. The lungs will be smaller than expected uh, and will have less developed blood vessels. This causes high blood pressure in the lungs. So it's a very horrible disease that happened like, you know, I, I think this is a disease more or less. It happens, you know, in one in 2,500 birth worldwide. Now I found this video here, so I am going to quickly play it so that you guys can, you know, uh, it's a three minute video so you can easily watch this video and understand what exactly this illness is i mean this channel is not only about stocks it's not only about you know investing in bio nanogenomics it's about you know helping the future generation helping the, the women pregnant pregnant women you know to have safe birth and when they have safe birth of course the child to be healthy because once upon a time we were all babies okay so that is why this is very very interesting to me okay so i'm going to play this video and we can all enjoy it for three minutes then we can continue and round this video up Congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH, is a rare condition in which a defect in the diaphragm allows the abdominal organs to move into the chest during fetal development. The diaphragm is a muscle that separates the heart and lungs in the chest from the liver, stomach, intestines, and other organs in the abdomen. With CDH, as the baby develops in the womb, the diaphragm doesn't close properly. The defect in the muscle may be on the left or right side and small or large. 
If the hole is large enough, the intestine, stomach, spleen, and liver can move into the chest. There, they can crowd the heart and lungs and keep the lungs from growing normally. Because it is a large, heavy organ, the liver causes particular problems. Most of the time, CDH is diagnosed during pregnancy. At Children's Hospital Philadelphia, we use sophisticated imaging to look at all aspects of the fetus. Liver position and lung size are two of the predictors of how the baby will do. Many babies with CDH develop a condition called pulmonary hypoplasia, which means small lungs. When they are born, they will have trouble breathing. At our hospital, the babies are born in our special delivery unit built specifically for babies with birth defects. They are handed to a waiting team of doctors and nurses, stabilized and taken to our newborn infant intensive care unit close by. Many babies with CDH develop high blood pressure in the lungs called pulmonary hypertension. We monitor and treat this condition with cardiologists specializing in pulmonary hypertension. Once the baby stabilizes, it is time for surgery to repair the diaphragm. The anesthesiologists and surgeons perform the operation at bedside in the NICU. The baby is placed under general anesthesia. The surgeons make an incision below the ribs. They gently bring the liver, stomach, and intestines into place. They then repair the diaphragm using stitches and often a Gore-Tex patch. The baby will recover in the NICU for weeks to months. As babies grow, their brains and lungs grow as well. In fact, the child's lungs will continue to grow for several years. At Children's Hospital Philadelphia, we treat more babies with CDH than any other hospital in the world. Our team follows these children into adulthood, providing interdisciplinary so um what i'm gonna do is i am going to leave a link below so you guys can find you know if you want to read more about this birth defect you can easily read more because it's a lot okay you can find information like signs and symptoms of cdh what causes cdh evaluation and diagnosis of cdh and so on and so forth so i believe this evaluation and diagnosis of cdh is where the sapphire comes in Okay. and this doctor she is going to tell us about her findings and how the sapphire device is able to detect structural variations in you know genomes of um, this patient these babies for example okay so I believe that let's take a look at what is happening with the price so I can at least tell you guys what I am expecting okay so as we can see bionic genomics is presently up like 10 percent and like i told you guys from my previous video the um, market cap is getting closer to 2.5 billion us dollars i think yesterday it's closed around 2.1 billion or something like that so it is very good the volume is 21.9 million and um the average volume of course is still 92.5 million so So let's take a look at the technical analysis and I can round this video up. Now, take a look at this, guys. This is the monthly the monthly candlestick, okay? This is very, very interesting. I mean, I, I am so interested. I am interested to see where we are going to close this month. Take a look at the candlestick. Last month, February, you know, we went to this maximum of 15 point something US dollars and we came down, we closed red with a pin bar, which is a very ugly one, okay? But right now we can see March is turning green systematically. I mean, it is kind of turning green. Okay, so I believe if we are able to close above this um 10 US dollars, you know, before the end of the month or by the end of this month, if we close at 10 US dollars, that is going to be a very good news. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at the one hour candlestick and we can round this video up because this video is not about technical analysis. Okay. So the chart is looking good so far. I mean, like you guys can see, 50% is holding. We are kind of waving around this level. This looks like a wave to me. And of course, if you take it, another look at it, it looks more or less like um like head and shoulder pattern forming. Okay, so you can see it looks like a head and shoulder pattern forming. So if we wave at this level, you know, and we bounce away from this eight US dollars, 
this is going to be a very good news then finally we can approach this 10 us dollars level hopefully before the end of the month we can take out this 10 us dollars okay i mean in a in a uh, conservative look if i look at it conservatively i mean hopefully before the end of the month we are going to get to this 10 us dollars but if i want to be aggressive with my analysis i mean you guys can see this is one hour candlestick so i mean it looks like tomorrow next tomorrow we can get to this 10 us dollars nobody knows okay and guys always remember to do your own due diligence i know that is why you are here but i still have to tell you guys i am not a financial advisor so if you are new on this channel and you enjoy my work please click on the like button and subscribe and feel free to share this video with your friends i remain your boy dial this is from Clark investment thank you everybody please share your opinion with me in the comment section if there is something i have to improve on okay have a wonderful day guys it's a beautiful day Woo! bye bye